They don't use cables for data transmission. It's a wireless communication. Clear? Yes. Type of unguided media. Unguided media means data travel to open space. We have when and when uh, no require of cables for uh, fix the path. Me like a coaxial cable, cap, uh, uh, coaxial optical fibers and copper wires. We have set the path through with data travel from source to destinations. But for unguided media, we have this is the open space data travel into op uh, open space. Uh, no need to uh, specify the uh, uh, path. It has the four types. The first one is radio wave. Last second one is microwave, third one is infrared, and the fourth one is the satellite communication. The first one is the radio wave. It's an electromagnetic wave of the frequencies between about 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 12 hertz as used for long distance communications. Clear? Radio transmissions consist of yes. the transmitters and receivers. How it works? Transmitters transmit a radio signal to a receiver which receives it. Look at the diagram. This is the radio wave. The transmitter of, at the receiving at the sending points have the antenna. Transmit <laughs> the uh, get, catch the signal and transmit the antenna. A antenna send through open space data. Uh, at the destination points and data move in the form of wave in the open space and catch and this antenna catch the signals and send it to the particular uh, receivers clear this is another example suppose this is your yeah. home and this is a uh, television fm radio clear <clears throat> this is the antenna the signals to these points travel in the open space and reach at your home and this your home and you know carry the signals and you and now you are able to listen to the music yeah a voice of the uh, persons of the radio stations these uh, these waves indicate that uh, uh, open space uh, when the data driver in the open space it will be affected uh, through noise through uh, weather circumstances, the wave will be disturbed and that data will be uh, disturbed and not really exact that they have sent at the, the uh, source point. These waves are invisible and undetectable to human beings. Applications of the radio wave, look, FM towers, this through these signals travel the uh, waves tv towers and now radio and tv broadcastings this is the station of the radio or tv broadcasting and this is your home and this is the satellites uh, uh, radio and tv uh, broadcast stations send the signals and the st uh, satellite catch the signals and send it to the uh, home Clear. Another applications uh, automatic control, radio control toys, automatic uh, remote control cars. These cars can be uh, moved by the radio waves. Look the diagram. Cell phone communications. Caller, call, make a call, and the nearest tower catch the signals and send into the switch mobile switching centers where they identify the address the base station station and then after identifying the address they send a particular uh, tower near the receivers and these towers send the signals to the uh, particular location at the particular locations it's the receivers and then you will be able to make a call 
clear another example is microwave it's like a uh, uh, radio wave is also signals travel through the open space and this is much faster than telephone lines or coaxial cables microwave antenna installed on high buildings and high towers uh, did you uh, uh, on the path of the islamabad uh, on the way of the islamabad uh, they have their mountain series have you visited islamabad or not then uh, have you visited islamabad or not yes. Have yes. you visit? Have you yes. visit Islamabad or not? Visit. Okay. Uh, when you have noticed that they have the uh, on the way of Islamabad, I have the uh, mountain series. Yes. Okay. And uh, and you ever noticed that you will be taken or not? I don't know. Okay. On the top of the uh, mountains, they have the towers. Yes. Clear. So. Microwave antenna installed on high buildings and high towers. Mostly, we will install in at the high place due to they easily catch the signals. Okay, transmitting and receiving sites must be within the sight of one and others. Look at the diagram. This is the uh, trans, uh, sender points and the transmitters of the senders input. They transmit the signals. Uh, let's get the signals and transmit to the in, uh, towers and so this is the transmission line they catch the signals and transmit the signals at the particular uh, nearest the particular tower they catch it through open space and then through this transmission line they send the uh, signals at the receiving points and then you will get the output. The example is telephone. Clear? Yes. Now, the next one is infrared. Infrared waves are light energy that we can't see. It travels through with the speed of light through open space, used for short distance communications, usually used in remote control of televisions and DVD players clear signals are disturbed by a persons or objects in between the transmitters and receivers but it doesn't get interferences of other signals clear look ac remote controls yes. and tv these are the application the persons the signals will be interrupted the persons or any objects between the tv and remote controls you can't open it clear look the other one is Bluetooth. Bluetooth, this is the wireless technology standard used for exchanging data between fixed and mobile devices over short distance using short wavelength. Look at the diagrams. We, uh, we have the two mobiles nearest with each other. Both open the Bluetooth technology, they turn on the Bluetooth, okay, and the other both will be uh, connected with their particular names and after make a pair now these are these two devices are able to share the things and these bluetooth technology use the radio waves to connect the portable electronic devices over short distance okay mobile are the portable device now it eliminate the need for cable connections provide fast and reliable transmissions it support networking of wide range of portable devices that work on low battery mobile phone mouse keyboard wireless tablet speakers laptop are the examples where we can use this technology clear through this technology can transmit image text video voice anything Next one is satellite. Satellite is an object that is placed in an orbit around the Earth and revolve around it with speed that is faster than Earth's average orbital speed for communications. Clear? First, you will understand a 
we have the two type of the satellites. The first one is natural satellites like a moon. The second one is artificial in, uh, satellite. Artificial satellite means man-made satellites. Clear? So, uh, uh, for satellite communications, we need the artificial satellites. And these satellites, we can launch through rockets. Clear? So, what is the satellite? Satellite is the object that is placed in the orbit around the Earth and revolve around it with speed that is faster than Earth average speed. So, what is the satellite communications? A communication satellite is an artificial satellite that rely and amplify radio telecommunication signals via a transponder. It creates a communication channels between a source, transmitters, and the receivers at different locations on Earth. Look this diagram. The ground equipment transmits signals to the satellite. This is a base. This is a base station that is at the CV points. They catch the signals and send to the satellites. And satellite, after catching it, the satellites amplify the incoming signals and change the frequencies. And then the third one is signal is transmitted back to Earth. After making a change in the frequencies, they send the signals to the uh, uh, back to Earth. And through this uh, uh, ground stations, they send the uh, signals at the receiving points. The ground equipment receives the signals. Clear? Look, another thing. Uh, this is the transmitters through which the signal is transmitted. They send the signals to the satellite. This is the uplink. Okay. When the signals move from upward, this is the uplink. And when the signals move the downward, the downward at the receiving points. Okay. Catch the signals and send to satellite. This is the uplink. Um, uplink. And then send the signals for this one and this one, the receivers. And this is the downlink. Clear? Look at another example. Satellite TV contribution satellite. Fixed contributions, outside broadcast, uh, broadcast and live events like a TV or uh, yeah. This is the radio news rooms and broadcast centers. So these are centers. Okay. Okay. Uh, mute the uh, uh, mic. They have sent the signals to a satellite and satellite send the signals to another stations and through these uh, send another uh, satellite, they distribute the signals and other two. The first one is the cable TV handset and through this, these uh, home will be able to watch the uh, TV uh, live events and through this, they send the signals to the uh, towers and through towers, wireless, these the homes will be able to watch the TV, listen the radio. Got it?